Hello everyone, uh, my name is Amit Agarwal and uh, I have done a couple of certificates from EC Council. Uh, the first being CH and C and then I did my CH practical and hence I got my CH master uh, from EC Council. And I also was in the top 10, uh, world top 10 uh, for CH master in April 2021. Uh, after that, uh, I did my uh, CHFI certification and finally uh, recently I have done my uh, CPENT and I got uh, my LPT master along with the uh, CPENT and I was the first one to get uh, the Compose certification with uh, CPENT and LPT master. Uh, I had done uh, my uh, B in electrical uh, in uh, back in 1999. Uh, although I was an electrical student, I uh, was very interested in computer science since that time since uh, I had uh, computers in my school as well. Uh, from class 8 uh, and I spent a lot of time in my engineering also to understand how OSSs work, how computers work and uh, I was really interested to go deep down into how computers work and after that I have been in telecom industry for uh, last whatever number of years since 1999 and I have always been interested in how computers work and uh, get into more details of how things work and uh, have been interested, uh, have been uh, in uh, security also a little bit uh, to understand uh, how uh, various uh, security concepts work and uh, what are the various uh, methodologies that hackers can use to get into our systems and have been on uh, also trying to harden the systems that we work on uh, so uh, it's been a very nice journey and uh, i was very happy to get my uh, cpnt and lpt uh, recently uh, I started my uh, cyber security journey about uh, three years back uh, when I started playing around with uh, Hack the Box, Try Hack Me and a uh, few other platforms like that. Uh, I started uh, watching some videos on YouTube to understand how hacking works. I had no idea at that time what hacking is and how, how to do various uh, things in hacking and uh, I was just getting started so a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, from John Hammond and Ipsec and uh, uh, guys like him helped me understand what is uh, basically hacking and then I started uh, looking at uh, EC Council courses and I was very interested in them so about a year back I started with uh, CH and C uh, and then I went ahead with CH Practical and I, I got uh, CH Master because of this and after that, I went ahead and did my uh, CHFI from ECAC Council and uh, after CHFI, I have done my CPNT and uh, LPT Master from EC Council. So uh, basically, I was doing a lot of hack the box, uh, try hack me and uh, then I did my CH and then I realized that uh, all these platforms were actually not uh, giving me the practical knowledge that I required and these were uh, just like CTS where someone uh, would assume some uh, vulnerability and then I have to just uh, find it out and uh, it's more like uh, solving puzzles rather than uh, really looking at how practical networks would behave and similarly when uh, you do these boxes it's not really a network and even if you go for some online uh, ranges they are generally uh, with a very flat network there are uh, basically no uh, uh, firewalls or uh, any of those things in place uh, which basically makes them a uh, very CTF like and uh, a very lab environment and not really a real life environment where you would find a lot of firewalls and IDS, IPS and whatnot. right. Uh, you will even find a uh, host based firewall and uh, probably even antiviruses and so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, when I uh, was looking for something really practical I found a uh, uh, in, C, uh, in EC Council uh, website about uh, CPNT and when I heard about it and when I looked at the table of contents and the course contents it was uh, really amazing and it really gave me the feeling that it would uh, teach me about the practical aspects of uh, being in uh, cyber security. So when I started uh, CPNT I already had some idea of what is hacking uh, and what is ethical hacking and uh, you know few of the tools uh, because I had also done uh, my CEH and CH practical so I had uh, definitely practiced some of the uh, tools there uh, 
बट सी पी एन टी वॉज अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई हैड टू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर रियली स्टडिंग ऑन द टूल्स ट्रिक्स एंड हाउ टू यूज वेरियस यू नो आर्ग्यूमेंट्स फॉर वेरियस टूल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर स्कैनिंग थ्रू अ फायर वॉल यूजिंग एन मैप दैन देर आर वेरियस आर्ग्यूमेंट्स दैट यू हैव टू यूज एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग बिहाइंड द सीन्स राइट वी हैव टू रन वायर शार्क एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट रिस्पॉन्स इज इंडिकेटिंग वॉट इन साइड द नेटवर्क सो आई नियरली टुक अबाउट थ्री टू फोर मंथस फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माई सी पी एन टी एग्जाम एंड आई हैड अ वेरी बिजी बे डे जॉब सो आई हैड टू मोस्टली स्पेंड आफ्टर आवर्स इन स्टडिंग फॉर माई एग्जाम एंड द आई लैब्स द सी पी एन टी डीप डाई बाई केवन कार्डवेल विच वॉज डन सम टाइम बैक वॉज वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड then the cyber range itself was also a uh, very useful one preparing for my uh, cpnt exam uh, and not to forget about it uh, the course content of the cpnt uh, uh, is itself is uh, amazing uh, but uh, you really need to spend a lot of time you have to understand the various uh, scripting languages that they are talking about and you have to practice all the uh, all the techniques and methods that have been talked about in the material so uh, i had been practicing uh, on lot of triacme and htb boxes and otherwise also vulnerable hub and other places so um, i i was quite comfortable in uh, doing uh, pen testing for uh, web application but cpnt is not uh, like just uh, uh, another ctf right so it was very difficult uh, initially to understand uh, how to uh, understand the network how to understand the topo- topology of the network uh, what uh, elements are sitting in the network how to identify the firewalls and so on so forth uh, but uh, the study material and i labs practice uh, helped me to ensure that i understand those concept and i was able to understand uh, what kind of firewall is acting uh, and what kind of firewalls i am dealing with and and get into it Uh, but the most difficult part for me probably in cpnt was the binary exploitation and the ot network uh, along with the iot uh, stuff that was there in the cpnt uh, mostly because uh, there are uh, very few uh, scars uh, online resources which can talk about this and there is really uh, no material available on the internet about these so there are a lot of good things about cpnt and uh, the first one to begin with is the course material itself uh, the quality of the pro- course material is uh, very nice and it's very nicely written and there are places where uh, they have not given you the complete solution and you have to go and research for it uh, and uh, that leaves uh, a lot of uh, scope for uh, self learning and also uh, self improvement And then the next part is uh, the i labs and uh, cyber ranges uh, that you get for practice those are again uh, very amazing uh, especially the i labs because you get 6 uh, months uh, lab access so you can play around with it as much as you want and you can do uh, whatever you want on i labs and get your uh, get your skills uh, you know uh, improved there and the third is uh, Uh, as i heard uh, kevin saying multiple times in his course and during the deep dive as well it's like no other uh, there is really no comparison of cpnt with any of the certification programs that you would uh, find in any of the uh, any of the other uh, courses around the world uh, it has real life experience and it has firewalls it has it, it it's not really a, just a flat network where you go and Uh, find few machines and uh, just start hacking it's not just about finding some flags it's uh, more than just finding flags and understanding how the different uh, documents and other uh, artifacts could be important for organizations and how uh, it can be very uh, important piece of uh, penetration testing uh, lab, lab experience is probably one of the best experiences of uh, cpnt uh, the labs are completely accessible from browser we don't need to have our uh, own uh, machine to practice on and we don't need to have a kali uh, running on our own uh, laptops to practice on uh, the labs now this is a very good uh, part because uh, 
uh, it means that basically wherever you are and whenever you want to practice you can always practice and there's really no time limit to the labs and uh, there are a lot of labs even uh, there are labs for uh, scripting uh, various scriptings like powershell bash ruby and uh, all scripting and there's even a refresher for ch which is also very 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 uh, helpful so uh, one thing that uh, cpnt has really taught me is uh, understanding the network uh, wireshark is a very 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 important tool i have always been using it for a long time it was my favorite uh, sniffing tool uh, you can use any other sniffing tool if you want to uh, but uh, wireshark uh, being open source and being freely available on linux and linux being uh, one of my favorite uh, things in this world has uh, been uh, one of my favorite tools uh, for sniffing uh, the other thing that uh, is uh, really very useful is understanding and map uh, flags uh, so before cpnt probably uh, all i was ever doing was nmap minus ac minus sv minus oa and the ip address and this is what uh, any uh, tutorial on uh, youtube will tell you or any blog post will show you because that's the only thing that you ever need to do in any ctf uh, but cpnt taught me uh, various other flags which uh, are uh, very very useful in practical uh, yeah as have very practical value so that that has become my uh, new favorite so uh, before cpnt also i was looking into security but uh, after cpnt i have a very different uh, approach to looking at uh, how to uh, really do a penetration testing for the products that i have to and also the overall security uh, i really have uh, gotten more experience on what a real life uh, penetration testing would uh, really do and hence uh, when i am looking at the security of the products i have a much broader uh, thinking of uh, what i should probably do in the uh, testing and what i should try to cover uh, in the testing uh, cpnt is not uh, it's not a good idea to compare cpnt with uh, any other program out there uh, today uh, cpnt is very different uh, all other programs concentrate on some areas of hacking and really uh, only uh, give you a lab uh, kind of environment uh, to learn and also uh, the exams are uh, very similar to the labs where uh, you have to just deal with a lab kind of environment and uh, there are no real uh, networks uh, inside the exam in today's world you will never find that happening uh, basically any network that you go uh, even if there is a company with uh, just two people and it's a startup still you would have some amount of network segmentation you will have firewalls you will have antiviruses so having exams without uh, these uh, in place uh, is uh, just uh, in my opinion uh, lab like and not really a real life example so this is where uh, cpnt really excels and has really a real life uh, kind of environment and you will find all the real life things that you would uh, find in real networks you will find uh, active domains which are probably not accessible from outside there is a proper ne network segmentation you will find multiple networks and uh, it's uh, really very 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 different from all other uh, certifications out there today so cpnt uh, as i said uh, is uh, very different uh, and uh, cyber ranges that you uh, get access for one month and the i labs that you get access for six months are uh, really really uh, nice uh, you should start concentrating on creating your own notes uh, since the beginning of when you start with cpnt and you should have your own notes organized in the way that you would like to see them and uh, it would be really helpful to have your notes in front of you when you are giving the examination and also uh, ensure that you practice uh, everything that you see in i labs and not just practice what is given in i labs but uh, also beyond that uh, not just practice it but understand it understand the method methodology understand the process uh, do it enough number of times that it becomes your second nature and uh, you are able to do it uh, even without thinking a second time about it uh, if you are very good with the methodology and the process that uh, you have to follow then you would turn out to be a good asset for any company going further and also you will be able to crack cpnt uh, with uh, good marks